Hello there. Today I'm going to tie a small uh, trout nymph. And uh, this is going to be a fairly easy fly with not using too many materials, but it's going to be a nice looking fly. So first off, I'm going to you know, make some tying thread to, to the hook here. Um, and uh, then I'm going to take a bit of, uh, a bit of wire. Uh, not that much, um, uh, but simply just to give it a bit of weight. So here, just something... Something like that. I'm gonna keep all the wire here to the part of the fly that's gonna be the thorax, the wing case here. So because that's gonna be a bit a, a bit more bulgy than uh, the rest anyway. So it's it's nice to have it there. So as you can see, I have a bit of weight now. Okay. Down here, I'm gonna tie the tail of the fly, and for this fly, we're gonna use some pheasant tail, some flesh, and uh, some dubbing, and and uh, and uh, and a partridge hackle, and that's about it. Oh, the hook I'm using here is is an Arix light stinger. This is perhaps a bit big hook, but it's it's nice for for larger trout, uh, and uh, and uh, well, that was the one I had at, at hand. So any 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 ordinary trout hook will will uh, will be uh, will be useful for this. Any streamer, small streamer hook is is nice as well. I like these new Arix though, like this. And then I take a bundle of uh, pheasant tail here. Uh, these feathers are very, very inexpensive, and you can probably find some if you're at least if you're in Europe. Um, so I take this and then I tie this down, like so, and just tie it a bit up the shank here. And what you can do that looks uh, quite well is, is simply uh, to to divide this tail out into two parts, split this out into two parts, and then tie between them. This will give the illusion of having a tail that's split, and it uh, will. Uh, and well, uh, stone flies have that, and and so on. So, so it's it's not necess It's it's not it's not vital, but it looks it looks fairly nice on the flies. You can see I've done so there. Good. Then you take simply take this, and you turn it around again, like so. So it's pointing backwards, like that. Then you take a couple of strands of this. Uh, this flesh abu. Uh, uh, the, the flesh abu I'm using here is is the the speckled copper, which is copper that is has uh, some some speckles on them, uh, which is uh, is a nice nice effect and uh, looks very 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 well, very nice for for trout flies. I really like that uh, that speckled uh, speckled type of, of dubbing. Cut that off, and then I'm gonna take some as left scroll up. In a, in a brownish color. If you have the brown or the fox or the fox gray, it's it's uh, it's not. It doesn't matter. But the the the, the squirrel up here really is nice because it has a lot of a lot of coarser coarser hairs that really stand out when you're when you're dubbing a, a body like this. So uh, so I use this a lot because it simply makes the fly look like well, basically look like trout food. Uh, and uh, and that's that's something I really like in my flies to have them look like actual trout food. <laughs> so like that, everything is awesome. I'm tempted to say <laughs> I'd build a lot of Legos with my son. So <laughs> I'm sorry for that the Lego reference. Uh, well, I am from Denmark, so you know, Lego is, is a big thing here as well. Oh, sorry, I did that wrongly, uh, in the wrong order. I need to take this first, and in order to have, I'm gonna do it like that. So this is going to be on top of the body here, like so. And then I'm going to turn the rib here. Not many turns, just just a few. Have it on top of the hook, along with the with the, the rest of the pheasant. Then I'm going to double it because I have the long strand here. So I'm going to double it and tie it down once more, like that, because then it it can be on top of the on top of the wing case again. Like that. Turn this over once more. So now I have this I can use as a, as a wing case. Oh, I have one or two strands here that's quite a bit shorter than the rest. So I'm going to cut those off. We don't need those. You could also cut off every single, uh, all 
of this every single time, but it's easier to do it this way. Then we need a partridge feather, and I'm gonna take uh, one from my full skin here. But if you don't have a full skin, then then a bag of uh, of feathers is. Uh, is, is also nice and of course if I haven't mentioned it please 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 if you like this video please remember to subscribe to uh, to my channel you can do so by uh, clicking the link in the corner here I really really would appreciate that so taking one of these uh, partridge feathers I'm just gonna strip off all the the crap down here all the fluffy stuff and then I'm gonna turn it like so and carefully pulling all the things back and then I'm going to tie it down so the, the curve here is going to curve upwards. Like that. Like this. I'm going to go back and take some dubbing. Making the thorax from the same dubbing as we did before. That works well. Like so. Apply a bit more duck. Then we're gonna turn the feather to make the wings, the, the legs here on the fly. off the feather and as you can see now the, the these stands out as, as nice legs. Can take the thorax here. Maybe I have a bit too much of the pheasant tail here. Ah that's okay. It will it will it will suffice it will be okay. And then the copper flash here. And there you have it. And all needs done is cut all this off, make a wood finish, and you're done. Like so. A very nice little nymph here. That is a, a good standard pattern for well most any waters. Like that. Well, thank you for tuning in.